Alright, hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to these Divinity, these Divine Tarot. Thank you for joining in with me today. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to all the former subscribers and welcome to all the new subscribers. Once again, thank you all for joining in with me today. As you see from the title of the video, we're going to go ahead and dive into this beautiful, divine, feminine, holistic health and healing energy. Yes, it's been a while. I know y'all. <laughs> the divine feminine had to take a break for a minute. She was getting ready to birth this thing. I don't know. But anyway, before we dive into this, y'all, as you go without saying, please do check the description box for any information that you may want or need to know. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to let me know. As it states in the description box, these readings are intended to be timeless. Time and energy are fluid, meaning you could have already gone through this. You may currently be going through this and or this may be a prophetic message to come. If you decide to embrace and embody the energy or advice that spirit has for you within the reading or readings. Look, and I need to say, before I even keep going, I do apologize for any and all background noise. We outside. <laughs> we out here. So, uh, that's a big old train coming by me right now. Probably ain't more than, I don't know, 100 feet, <laughs> if that. And it look long, y'all. It look long. I don't even want to wait that long. So, just, you know, try to pay attention. Stay here with my voice, right? Uh, I try to minimize as much of the background noise as possible. Plus, we also ride up against a, a, a pretty busy road. So, it is what it is, y'all. I'm soaking up this good ass prana, and I love it. It feels amazing out here. So, anyway, uh, yeah, so please keep in mind that these are general, and not all may apply to you, which is perfectly okay. Take what does, let the rest fly. It may be a message for someone else. I may not even be talking to you nor about you. I may be talking to or about someone to whom you're closely connected, friend, family, or foe. I do not know. Only you know your life, so use your free will and discernment to determine that, all right? Now, I know we are primarily focused on the Divine Feminine, but of course, masculine energy can still come through. So I may say he, she in reference to masculine and or feminine energies, because I do not subscribe to gender roles over here, all right? What else? I am big on numerology. <clears throat> Whether or not I call it out, but if and when I do, I intend for it to likely resonate with your life path number, the day or month you're born, or, whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on. I keep hitting this. Hold on, y'all. I'm sorry. Um, so, yeah, whether or not I call it out, um, I intend for it to likely resonate with your life path number, maybe even the month or day you're born, or even the house you want to pay particular attention to in your natal chart. Whatever, okay? I think that's about it. It's the same old spiel. If I forgot something, for those of you that have been here before, or if you haven't, you check out any of my other videos, and it's pretty much the same. Same old, same old, all right? Uh, let's get a quick word of prayer before we continue. To the Most High, Heavenly and Divine, Angels, Ancestors, Spirit, Gods, I come to you saying thank you. Thank you so very much for this day and for this opportunity. Thank you for this beautiful energy that you um, are bestowing upon us and around us. Thank you for using me as a clear and open channel to bring forth the messages to the collective straight and clear, no chaser. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I pray that the message uplifts, enlightens, heals, protects, nurtures, nourishes, empowers, strengthens, whatever the viewer may need at the time of viewing, and may it play out in their lives as I know you will see fit for the highest good for any and all involved. For all these blessings, I come ask and give thanks yet again. Ashe, 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 oh. All right now, let's get on into it. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all, uh, we are utilizing this beautiful Star Codes Astro Oracle as well as the Good Tarot. And these are these are what was calling me. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. Okay, so let's get through this week. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and see what Spirit has for us today. What do you have for the Divine Feminine today, Spirit? What do you have for the Divine Feminine today? Wow, too many. Too, too many. Let's see. Let's see. What do you have for the divine? Okay, just one, please. Oh, okay. Maybe not just one. <laughs> oh, okay. This is, this is okay. I'll take it. 
it's powerful, especially coming off yesterday. If y'all missed it, y'all might want to go back and check it because there was some confrontational energy and it was like that need to come to an end no matter who it has to deal with, whether it's just within yourself or sibling rivalry is what I was getting um, and or anybody else for that matter. You know, homie, love a friend, whoever. I don't know. But um, I feel like it, I feel like there's an opportunity to form an alliance or coming together. Right. Uh, a grouping, if you will. That's what I'm hearing. Uh, it's very much so passionate, right? And it doesn't just have to be, like I said, love. I mean, uh, romantic, right? It's anybody you love or whatever you love. This can be going after a, a job, career, hobby, passion, project, whatever. I don't know. Some of y'all may be truly be artists, creators, I see for sure. Like, do that, you know? That may be where you find as long as you go continue to go after what it is you um, are passionate about, you will form alliances in that respect, in that regards. But I feel like you have to end that confrontational energy off of yesterday first, for real. Because this, the five is that growth. We talked about that. That's the whole reason that you're in that opposing energy, not not to stunt it, not to, not to be a punishment, as they said in the reading, but just to help you grow, help you mature, learn, you know what I mean? Ascend. Which is that five energy hierophant is coming through and we already got that taurus energy at the bottom of the deck yesterday but moving into the one that's coming together unionizing right that potentially is a six and all about that balance stability and love and harmony peace even right and then of course we got the four and three to four is two about that stability and three to me is the coming together mind body spirit i mean alignment that's my holy trinity right but together they make the seven and it's like moving in divine order as these geese are moving right flying south for the winter i don't know you may want to check, like, come up out of that south node because we talked a little bit about that karma, right? Stop falling back into what you're comfortable with and move, you know, fight the urge uh, to just settle is what I hear. And move, follow your north node this time. You know, do something different. I don't know. That's what I'm getting, though, for real. Oof. It's quite a bit. Bottom of the deck, we have... And communication is key, Gemini. Okay? This is Geminian energy here. Strong. Could be any air sign, for real, but strong Gemini. That 41, potentially being a 5. Something about it, y'all. I love it. And it, 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 I just heard heart to heart. You may very well have, need to have this heart to heart with this person. But whoever this is, you, you may have been in conflict with. Because I feel like there's a strong bond and connection. And y'all meant to do some powerful things, homie. <laughs> For real. Let's see what this is about. <laughs> what I say? <laughs> strong bond. Strong connection. Whether homie, lover, friend, I don't know. You know? Family member, for sure. Oh, wow. Sorry, y'all. So sorry. Yes. I mean, that's just it. That's that bond, that connection, that alliance. Y'all need to just go with the flow. Stop fighting one another. Because I feel like y'all on the same wavelength. It's just, you know, I don't know. Y'all might be on slightly different frequencies. It, kind of something about it, though. Yeah. This is uh, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio energy, potentially. Look at here. I'm telling you, strong mind. Y'all about to be doing something big, whoever this is. Whether it's two or more people, I don't know. Because I definitely, it can be, you got, it definitely can be just you and a and a soulmate. Again, a soulmate can be friend, family, or... Oh! Child, something just landed on my face. I'm talking about right at my face. Dang. Just had me smack myself. Anyway. Mm -mm, I ain't like that. That was so disrespectful. <laughs> But it, um, that wasn't the right thing to say, I guess, because they had me show smack myself. But um, it can be friend, family, or lover. I mean, you know, a romantic partner. But it's blessed. This is a this is a divine union. I'm hearing. Mhm. Mm you gon' this may be even just your soul family, you know, because I get a tribe out of this. Yeah. Truth seekers, truth tellers. It's like. You know, so it's not, it's like I'm here. It's the vibe of they may not always tell you what you want to hear, but it's going to be the truth. And that's what's going to help you grow and heal. You know what I mean? 
the truth shall set you free something about that but let's go ahead and get on into this um there's something big with these ones too ones as well i should say <laughs> right because a 10 is potentially a one this is sage energy for me but you know it can be honestly anybody you're dealing with i don't know Mm, mm, mm. this is a blessing it's like let you allow your love because i don't know why i always get this as like a a perfume bottle <laughs> and you see the heart up top right and it's just like open up you know let yourself be free that's that sage energy is so carefree they gonna get it they gonna do whatever they hearts desires you know what i mean <laughs> they be moving anyway uh let's see i guess we'll just do it in the order that they came out so let's go with the conjunction first this is supportive aspects okay pages 118 and 119 anytime two celestial bodies conjunct meaning they dance close together they first and that's that two of cups too right they first work together and blend meaning and purpose then begin a new cycle of their relationship the sun and moon conjunct at the new moon but because the sun is overpoweringly huge it has special rules Planets are so tiny compared to the sun that when they are close within eight degrees of the sun, they seem to disappear or combust. Oh my gosh. And lose individual power. But when planets exactly conjunct the sun, their strength merges and grows within the heart of the sun. Wow. Speaking of that heart here in that uh, wheel of fortune. But uh, let's see. But when planets exactly conjunct the sun, their strength merges and grows within the heart of the sun. The conjunction tells us we are stronger than we work. We are stronger when we work together, as long as we don't disappear into another's flame. Action. Co-conspire. Find people and allies who support your ideas, as this is not a situation in which to go at it. Go it. Go it alone. Bring in someone with an extra skill to offer to your project. Find the best friend to discuss your concerns with, or spark off new partnership. Watch the energy build as you bounce ideas off of another person. Just take care of your own energy fields and ideas in this process. If you have merged your energy with a partner, teacher, or coworker, or are considering merging, notice what strengths you are you and where wait a minute. Notice what strengthens you and where you may need to step back and in, individuate. <laughs> Find your own paradigm and technique. It can be lovely to love someone with a sunlight personality, warm, expansive, though at times exhausting, but don't combust. If it's time to align your life with another's, think of the line from the poet Rilke, I don't know, R-I-L-K-E, quote, love consists of this, that two solitudes protect and border and greet each other, end quote. Let this be a yoking of two or more equals, a partnership that works best when each brings gifts and challenges to the table. Challenge... The challenge is be wary of relationships that ask you to shrink yourself to fit them and value the conjunction over individual growth. The gift. A conjunction can become greater than the sum of the parts. I love that. Like I said, you get you get farther with working together. Hold on. Okay. Um, moving on to fifth house passion. Pages 102 and 103. If your chart was a village map, the fifth house might be the outdoor cafe on the square where romance hovers, teenagers meet, and children run around the edges. Music wafts, a poet speaks. Here, people take risks. The fifth house speaks of our capacity to love in the form of affairs, romance, self-expression, creative processes, investments, and performance. The action. Ponder your loves and longings, whatever activates your heart, and ask yourself what you love enough to share with the whole world. Like, like I told y'all, open up. Let that, let your love out. You know what I'm saying? Open up that vial. Let your fragrance roam free. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, uh, the fifth house asks you to believe in yourself and put this activated heart into action. Think of what activates the sparkly magic you feel when your artistic muse plays with you. You feel when you... Uh -uh. Remember what stirs the first twinkle in the eye of a new relationship, the luminous quality of the beginnings of a love affair. No matter your age, your, your inner adolescent sparks, your creative process. To nurture that spark, be playful. Grab a spontaneous moment and let your imaginations wander. Look for a work culture that encourages playful, creative risk-taking and adventurous collaboration and exploration. What did, we, what did I say? That's exactly what's going to happen here, if you allow. This is where the juicy new ideas arise. To form a good foundation for partnership, don't skip. Come on, bro. Don't skip the courtship. Learn how to bring each other joy and come back to renew that spark in the years ahead. The fifth, the fifth house also speaks of the children of the heart, of the arts, and of the body. 
desire for a child, a love affair, the first stirrings of a book or sculpture, or the first notes of a song are the sparks of this creation. The fifth house asks you to take a risk, and you may need to invest in materials and be disciplined to manifest your desires. The challenge. Bring your inner adolescent out to play, but watch that it doesn't get stuck in a self-centered place, swept up in the thrill of creation and in parentheses they have, and damn the consequences. <laughs> um, the gift. Let your light shine. Let it be a gift to all the world. Your instructions are to play, create, love, inspire, and be glorious, honey. All right. And finally, moving on to the bottom of the deck, which is the third house, communication, pages 98 and 99. If your chart were a village... I swear I just read this. Did I not? I swear I just did. Hold on. Did I not? Oh my. Which one did I read? I swear I just read this, but I don't I didn't feel like it came out, did it? Maybe it came out yesterday. Am I tripping? I feel like I'm tripping. Anyway, if your chart were a village map, the third house will represent your local neighborhood, primary school, and corner pub. It symbolizes how you learn, communicate, and move around your familiar world based on your sibling-like relationships and the people in your local environment. Action. Check the lines of communication in your thinking process. First, repair any actual technical glitches, in the parentheses that say loose wires, computer, or phone problems, in parentheses. Then take this metaphor a step further and look at how your messages are sent and received. Make sure you understand what was intended in a letter or email you received. Ask other people what they heard you say in an exchange. When in doubt, ask for more information and repair any miscommunications. Then take this metaphor in-house and look within. Notice the quality of your thinking. Repair glitches, stretch your mental muscles, and improve the quality of your communications. You may need to learn new ways to express yourself so others hear your true intentions. Think about how you learned to communicate growing up through your relationships with siblings or sibling-like friends. Your early school experiences. Investigate how those early relationships formed mental habits that affect the present moment. You may need to get out of your head and get a fresh perspective. Observe and test your assumptions. Check for confirmation bias. The tendency to believe anything that supports your opinions and reject new information that challenges your worldview. Read a spiritual text or ponder a metaphysical concept and let it stretch your mind. Check in with siblings and sibling-like friends. Look for any shadow of rivalry and see if you can switch it to mutual encouragement where all win. It's up to you to reframe this dynamic. The challenge. Chatter is not the same as communication. Sibling or sibling-like rivalry can challenge you to grow in small doses, but don't let it distract from your self-direction. Stay on target. That's what I was saying yesterday. So if you missed that, you might want to tune in. The gift. We are all siblings in the eye of spirit. Let that sink in, honey. That's why I said it don't even matter. It don't matter about blood, you know? It's whoever you deem as your family, right? Because it can be just the best friend, like a family, or, you know, a partner, or uh, uh, whether that's business or otherwise, who's like family. You know what I'm saying? So, whatever. However the shoe fits. But anyway, that's what we got. I'm going to leave it there. I pray that it resonates. If it does, you know what to do. For those of you who are new, that means comment your testimonies down below. You never know how this may help someone grow, but especially in including yourself. And I pray that's what you're here for. If you want to join me for another day, you can check the link in the description box. I pray to see you there. If not, please take care. Until the next one, please don't forget your love and light. It truly makes everything all right. Deuces.